Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. We've got the Orange Bowl, folks. Number 11, Bryant Bulldogs taking on the 6th ranked VMI Key Debts in Miami, Florida. This is going to be a good one. VMI coming off a Big 12 championship loss to the now number 1 rated North Dakota State Bison. Bryant Bulldogs, of course, are the ACC champions. They beat Norfolk State in that game. Let me get this graphic off the screen for you guys so we could take a quick gander at the matchup. I also have to share this in the Discord right quick. And we'll get ready to go. Go ahead and slap that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community to get yourself on the field in Season 4 of our FCS Dynasty. There's a link in the description below. I'll be adding new recruits next week to our 12 schools. All right. Now we are shared in the Discord. We are golden. This is game 139 of the season, guys. My goodness gracious. It's been a long season. Here is the matchup. Number four offense in the country versus the number three offense in the country. Number nine defense for Bryant. Number 21 defense for VMI. Their weakness has been the rushing attack this season. Uh, 47th in the country, but the rush attack on offense is nasty. Number three in the land, 295 yards per game. Bryant, I mean, 10th in the rushing, 31st in passing, 9th ranked defense, number one rush defense. I mean, going up against the number three rush offense. It's it's going to be an interesting matchup. I'm not sure, you know, w which is going to fail or which is going to succeed, rather. The the rush attack of VMI or, or the rush defense of Bryant, which one is going to prevail? That's going to be the biggest difference in this ball game and of course both teams in the top 10 in turnover differential as well let's go ahead and take a look at their schedules and see how both squads got to this point in the season start with the hosting team the Bryant Bulldogs started off the season with a dub over the Army Black Knights let me pull up my chat real quick who we got in the chat Alex Acosta Harris Gurley Zach Sandlin back in the chat what's going on guys then they beat the Richmond Spiders Beat Howard, beat Bethune Cookman, destroyed William and Mary. Then they lost NCA and T State. That was a shocking defeat. We got shut out in the fourth quarter. Aggies put up 18. We just we couldn't get anything going in the final quarter of that ball game, and that was our first defeat of the season. Then we beat Savannah State, 31-17. Lost to the Hampton Pirates. Another shocking loss, 46 to 40. We got shut out in the fourth quarter again in that ball game. LJ Topher had a monster day. Five catches, 250 yards, three touchdowns, but we could not stop the pass. 416 yards for Britain, four touchdowns. And we have not lost since with the Bryant Bulldogs. Just hanging a lot of points on these squads. Southern we beat 38-0, beat Dartmouth 77-20, obviously defeated Norfolk State in the ACC title game. Leading up to this game against the VMI Cadets in the Orange Bowl. Let's take a look at VMI's schedule. They were 12-0 entering the Big 12 championship game against North Dakota State. The heavy favorites in that one, and for good reason. They were absolutely destroying everybody that was in their path. And they had a tough schedule, too. 86-78 is the combined opponent's record. But I don't. they didn't really have any close game. Maybe one, one close game that they won against Southeastern, 52-49. And the Sam Houston State game was close for, for a minute, and that was about it. But that Southeastern game... They put up 28 points in the fourth quarter, almost coming back to win it against VMI. So that was crazy. And, of course, North Dakota State ended the 23-game winning streak for the Key Deaths in the Big 12 title game. Bison in the natty after this game against the Jacksonville Dolphins. So it should be a good one. Let's get into the game, guys. Miami, Florida, Orange Bowl. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Who done it? Reuben Blueberry. What did he do? School newspaper reported that Blueberry had an altercation with the university police about a parking spot on campus. We'll, we'll give him a quarter. How's that sound? Jay Washington in the chat. What's up, Jay? You didn't see the game, the end of the last game, Zach? Um, Southern Utah won that one pretty easily. All right, black and gray for them. Let's see. No, we're not going all black. 
All right. VMI Cadets, Bryant Bulldogs, Orange Bowl, now. Jay Balmer is here in the chat. Sophomore tight end for VMI. I've been looking forward to this one. Number six team in the country versus number 11. 23 combined wins, just three losses. And we are going to see the Bryant Bulldogs on offense first. Triple J in the chat. What's with players doing stupid stuff right before their bowl game? That's a good question, man. I, I just don't have the answer for you. I'm sorry. VMI kicks it off, and we're underway in Miami, Florida. On for the return. Tay Ray, the freshman halfback, and he is destroyed at the 19-yard line. Let's take a look at Bryant's offense as they head out onto the field. Noel Montanus having a fantastic season at quarterback. He's backed up by Jason Stark. And in the backfield, Brandon Allen, A.J. Jordan, and Tay Ray. Receiving core, L.J. Topher and Snoopy Tucker. The tight end, Diego Martinez. And the All-American left tackle, Kenneth Harrington. But there's a sack on the first play of the game for VMI. Now let's take a look at their defense. William Reed and Javon Stewart at DN. Stewart will also stand up in the linebacker spot. Henry Hamilton at defensive tackle. Trey Upton at middle linebacker. Bryson Shields at corner. Darius Peters and Jack Hammer at free safety. Mike Adams, this senior, is at strong safety. There's a nice stop right there as the graphic just did not want to get off the screen for some reason. There we go. All right, we're good. We're good to go. Apologies. Third and 14 coming up. All right, third and 14, shotgun set for Montanez. He's been having a monster season. 31 touchdowns, just six INTs, over 3,500 passing yards. That pass is almost intercepted. Intended for Brandon Allen, the star halfback of the team. This quarterback, two running backs on the offense. They're, they're most likely going to go pro. Uh, Brandon Allen and A.J. Jordan, we're probably going to see L.J. Topher go pro as well. Kenneth Harrington, the left tackle, most likely gone after this game. But here we are looking at the best returner of the year in college football, Bryson Shields, on for the punt return, and he gets a decent one up to the 40-yard line. Shields with 10 punt return touchdowns in his career, five kickoff returns for touchdowns as well. VMI set to take the field on offense. Justin Hopps, he was on the Heisman watch list quite often this season. Cam Sanders was as well. The junior halfback. The Darius Johnson in the backfield, though, to start the game. And Hops looking to throw it. And that is going to be dropped by Joseph Martin. Martin only has 17 catches on the season. Let's take a look at VMI's offense. Justin Hops, quarterback. Cam Sanders, Ladarius Johnson, and Ryan Tobin at halfback. Matt Keller, the fullback. Receiving core, Joseph Martin, Jason Wright, and Eric Matheny. Jake Barry and Jay Balmer are the tight ends for the sixth ranked VMI Kidet, second and 10 from the 40. They're going to go triple option. Matt Keller up the middle. He explodes into Bulldog territory. First down, VMI. Big time run from the little fullback that could. That gets him over 700 career rushing yards. Fourth ranked offense in the country, 505 yards per game. Coming out in the I formation, Sanders is the halfback. And they're going to go option again. This is their bread and butter. Cam Sanders breaking a tackle, still going, running people over, gets the first down and then some inside the red zone. And Eric Weaver, I believe the free safety or the number two cornerback here has injured his arm on the play. Let's take a look at the Bryant Bulldog defense led by Ruben Blueberry and Joe Owens at the defensive end spots. Bryant Dynasty, freshman DN. He also plays some D tackle here. And Devine Adams at defensive tackle. Option again. Hops is inside the 10. Pitches it out to Ryan Tobin. The freshman breaks the tackle down to the one yard line. What a play. And here's the rest of that defense that just got run over. True freshman middle linebacker Ryan Lee Norton. 
the outside linebackers, both All-Americans, Cy Summers and Stephon Okafor in the secondary, Tadian Moss at corner, and true freshman strong safety, KTO Miller. The Cadets are going to be stuffed at the one-yard line. That was Norton on the stop. Second and goal from the one coming up. High formation. It's actually the goal line set. And they're handing it off to Matt Keller again. And the fullback cannot punch it in once again. Third and goal coming up from inside the one. We saw a really good goal line stand last game in the Rose Bowl. Southern Utah Thunderbirds stuffed, actually intercepted the Flyers on fourth and goal from the one-yard line. And this time, Matt Keller punches it in for the touchdown. The 11th touchdown run of the fullback's career. VMI strikes first. Where was this VMI in the Big 12 Championship? Well, they started off hot in that game. And then just nothing happened after that. Ross Clark on for the extra point. He is now 98 of 98 on extra points this season. That was a 7-play, 60-yard drive, a minute and a half off the clock. Results in a touchdown. And well, Montanez and the Bulldog offense set to take the field again here in a moment. Going to see a lot of these players going pro after this ball game. And Clark kicks it deep, and it's going to be knelt down in the end zone. The 60th touchback on kickoffs this season for the freshman kicker on 120 kickoffs. Half of his kickoffs are in the end zone. You love to see it. Play action. Montanez finds LJ Telfer. First down up to the 40-yard line. He beats Shields on the play. Nice post corner round. Number three offense in the country. 506 yards per game for Bryant. High formation set. They're going to go option. A.J. Jordan is the halfback. Noel Montanez is in the open field. There's a flag for holding on the play, though. It's coming back. First and 19 coming up now. Montanez in the shotgun. Brandon Allen is next to him. Montanez all day to throw it over the middle. LJ Topher again up to the 43-yard line. I'm expecting a heavy dose of Brandon Allen on the ground here today, but we haven't seen a whole lot of it. Allen coming into the game with 99 touchdown runs in his career. And there he is, gets the carry up the middle, picks up maybe four yards. And that'll be third and three from the 47-yard line. A.J. Jordan is the halfback on this play out of the shotgun. Allen in the slot. They're going to hand it off. Tackle A.J. Jordan. And he is in the secondary up past the 40-yard line. Darius Peters makes the stop. Peters with 175 career tackles now. And 
they're gonna go play action. Montanez deep shot way downfield. That's caught. Touchdown. Bulldogs. Brandon Allen gets in there, and that is his third touchdown catch of the season. His 14th of his career. That actually gets him over 1,000 career receiving yards as well. Montanez with 32 touchdown passes this season now. 79 for his career. And we're about to have ourselves a tied ball game. Presley on for the extra point. Kick is up and good. 7-all here in the Orange Bowl. 5 plays, 79-yard drive. Minute 40 off the clock. There's 145 to go in the first. With the Kedats set to take the field on offense again. Brashers kicks it deep out of the back of the end zone and the Cadets will start this drive at the 20 yard line. Hops will come out in the I formation see if they'll continue to run the option and they will in fact they'll hand it out to Matt Keller and the fullback gets another first down 12 yard pickup. For the junior, 131 yards on the season, two touchdowns. Most of the option plays have been going to hops or the halfbacks. Keller not getting a whole lot of action, but they're utilizing him pretty well here today. And they're hand this off to Sanders, breaks the tackle and drops by Ryan Lee Norton. The freshman middle linebacker, that's going to be a loss of four yards on the play. Went with the off tackle, just didn't work out too well for him. Two tight ends set, handing it off again. Darius Johnson gets maybe a yard. And it's going to bring up third and 13 for VMI. Number one in the nation on third down. 58% conversion rate. And they're out here with five wide receivers. Hops. Quick pass. That's Jay Balmer. He's got the catch, but he's dropped at the 36-yard line. Well short of the sticks. And we have another injury for the Bryant Bulldogs in the secondary. That's Josh Doyle. Computer player. That's set to punt it away to Tay Ray, the freshman halfback. He does have one punt return touchdown on the season. He is a speedster. And that was a really good punt out of bounds around the 20 yard line at the 21. Good game so far. All tied up. 27 seconds left in the first. The rematch from season one, yes, sir. And there's an offsides penalty. That was Henry Hamilton, the junior defensive tackle. Hamilton, 24 career sacks from that defensive tackle spot. He also has an interception in his career. That was this season. First down and five for the Bulldogs. Montanez hands it off up the middle. A.J. Jordan cuts back to the left side. First down, brought down by Jack Hammer at the 40-yard line. Time running down here in the first. Doyle out for the rest of the game. Pulled groin. We'll see him back next season. Tay Ray in the backfield now. They're going to hand it off to the freshman. Look out. He's got speed to burn and gets the first down. Jack Hammer on the stop and another injury. This time to the receiving core for Bryant. That is, was that Brian Newman or Byron Newman? Computer player. Again. 
getting the injury bug. And that is it for the first quarter. All tied up here in Miami, Florida in the Orange Bowl. Seven apiece. First and 10 from the 46. Brandon Allen in at halfback. They're going to hand it off to the junior. Breaks a tackle and is dropped by Javon Stewart at the line of scrimmage. What up, Eric? Doyle's girlfriend's going to be upset. Just a little bit. Four receivers set from Montanez. A.J. Jordan in at halfback. And they're going to throw it. Montanez, deep shot over the middle, and that's caught somehow by LJ Topher in triple coverage. Inside the red zone, down to the 15. Jackhammer on the tackle. Beats Bryson Shields and Jackhammer. Darius Peters out there as well. Trying to help out in coverage. It's not enough. LJ Topher is a big fella out there at receiver. Single back set, Brandon Allen, he's going to get the touchdown, his 100th touchdown run of his career. And the Bulldogs take the lead. Historical career from Brandon Allen, two-time Heisman runner-up. He wasn't on the list this season. Still a great year, his 28th touchdown run of the season. 31 total touchdowns on offense. Just been an absolute beast in his career for the Bryant Bulldogs. Extra point from Presley, up and good, 14 to seven. Five plays, 79 yard drive, and about a minute 20 off the clock. Slim Chris in the chat. What's going on, Chris? And this kick will be returned by Jason Wright, the junior receiver. And he'll get it up to around the 20-yard line. Let's see what the cadets can do on this drive. Just six passing yards for VMI. Ground attack's been working pretty well for him. 70 yards on the ground. A lot of that to Matt Keller, the fullback. They're going to go with a speed option here. Pitch it out. Came Sanders. And Sanders breaking a tackle. No, he is brought down by KTO Miller, the freshman strong safety. But he still moves the chains. 10-yard pickup. Oh, Miller with 30 tackles coming into this game for the true freshman. One for a loss. Four picks and a touchdown. 11 pass deflections. Byron Newman out for the rest of this game. Sprained wrist. Edette's handed off to Matt Keller again. The fullback explodes up the middle. Picks up 18 yards. Are you kidding me right now? He is just having his way with this defense. Love seeing the fullbacks make plays out here. Saw Tyler Matthews just erupt in the final two games of the season for Jacksonville as the Dolphins head out to the national championship game after this one. Now Matt Keller getting some good carries. That's the Darius Johnson gets a couple yards up the middle. Cy Summers on the stop. Cy Summers won all the awards this season for linebacker. High formation set again. Sanders at halfback. Cy Summers is in the zone at linebacker. Summers, a projected top five draft pick in the EFL. And there's Stephon Okafor, his counterpart. Projected first rounder as well. Making the tackle pickup of two. Alex Acosta in the chat. What's going on, Alex? Third down and eight coming up. Ryan Tobin in at halfback. That's the true freshman. They're going to go option again. 
Hops has it. He pitches it back. It's fumbled. And who's got it? VMI does recover it, but they're short of the marker. And they are going to punt it away, surprisingly, actually. I would definitely go for this here. I don't know why he pitched it. He had the first down if he just fell forward with it. Cadets booted away. And that is going to be deflected up in the air and downed inside the 10-yard line. Pretty decent punt. Down at the 9. See what the Bulldogs can do with it from deep in their own territory. Montanez out of the shotgun. With Brandon Allen at halfback. They're going to throw it. Montanez throws it deep. That's picked off. Nobody's home on that pass. Intercepted by Riley. Oh, my goodness. Just the seventh interception of the season for Noel Montanez. I'm not sure who he was throwing it to. Let's take a gander at this replay. Wow, there's just nobody there. Very bad throw. Great field position for VMI as they look to tie this ball game up. Sanders in the zone at halfback. Feed it to him. And they're going to go play action instead. Jake Berry's open on the top left. And they, over th they under threw Jay Balmer actually. Not sure about the decision to try to throw it deep there. Jake Berry was open on the corner route initially. And they're going to come out high formation yet again. They're bread and butter. And they're going to keep it on the option. Hops still going. Can't pitch it out, but he holds on to the football. His flag for clipping. It's coming back. On Fletcher. It's going to come down to who's going to make the least amount of mistakes in this ball game. Cannot have penalties like that. You can't be throwing interceptions where your receivers are not even in the vicinity like the Bulldogs just did. Second and 25. Five receivers for Hops. And he will throw it short. Jake Berry has the catch. Cy Summers, one-on-one -on -one coverage, brings him down just to pick up a four. And it's third and 21 from the 37. Hops had a great season, 35 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. Also had 11 rushing touchdowns as well as he looks to get 21 yards on this third down. It's picked off. Oh, baby. Intended for Jake Berry. That's the 10th INT of the season for Hops. Bryant just takes it right back. Oh, man, he just jumped. He jumped that route so cleanly. Bulldogs back on offense. I formation. Tossing it out. It's going to be a pass for Brandon Allen. Back. Almost intercepted by Darius Peters. The play calling. Please stop it. They almost gave it right back to him. Shotgun set. Tay Ray in at halfback. The track star. High snap from Montanez. Corrals it. Hit as he throws and incomplete. Henry Hamilton, the D-tackle, is out there in coverage. Third and ten, coming up. Same formation. Montanez pressured. Deep shot, way downfield, and he's got his man. First down, A.J. Jordan, the junior halfback, beats the secondary all the way down to the 13-yard line.
My goodness gracious. Beats Shields and Peters on the play. Eighty-eight percent in the red zone this season for Bryant. Forty-three touchdowns, nine field goals, and they're going to hand this off to Brandon Allen. Oh my goodness! Just runs over Trey Upton. Bryson Shields cleans up the play. Pickup of two, second and eight on the eleven. Coming out in the shotgun again. Are they going to target Diego Martinez at tight end? Montanez, pass left side, Brandon Allen, a little stutter step, Brandon Allen, breaking tackles, and out of bounds, just shy of the marker, third and inches coming up. Bulldogs, two of three on third down. Single back set, Brandon Allen in the backfield, handed off to him. And they will. Brandon Allen, 101 touchdown runs in his career. And that gives his Bulldogs a two-touchdown lead over the sixth-ranked VMI Cadets in the Orange Bowl. Drive set up by that deep, deep bomb to A.J. Jordan. Presley on for the extra point, make it a 14 point game. It's up, and it's good. 21 7 with 149 to go in the half. This stream not getting nearly as much views as the Rose Bowl did. We had 20 viewers on that one and over 100 clicks on the video. Nobody cares about the Orange Bowl apparently. BMI going to start this next drive from their own 20 yard line. Hops coming out trying to rebound after the INT on the last drive. We'll go play action. Joe Owens, the senior, gets the sack. His 46th career sack. 114th tackle. He came back and Bryant was in the lead. Well, you shouldn't have left, Harris. Shouldn't have left. Loss of six on that sack. Second down and long. Jake Berry in the zone at tight end. And here's Ryan Tobin, the freshman. And he's going to pick up 16 yards, just inches short of the first down. Nobody cares about VMI? I, I don't think that's true. Poor matchup? No, I think this is a good game. Good matchup. Care about the Orange Bowl? Yes, sir, Jay. Love the Orange Bowl. It's the best. Second in, or third in inches for VMI. Single back set. Hops. Will he hand it off? He will go option. Cam Sanders gets the first down. See if they'll pick up the pace a little bit now. Minute 11 to go in the half. They have two timeouts remaining. High formation set. Hops looking to throw over the middle, and that is deflected away. May have been pass interference there. A little bit of contact from Stefan Okafor. No call. Second down coming up. Cy Summers in the zone. Play action. Ruben Blueberry gets the sack. His first of the day. And that'll be his 32nd career sack. D-line is just ferocious for Bryant. Cy Summers also got in there, almost getting another sack for his career. He's got 36.
Be my two for five on third down. It's a long one, third and 14. Blueberry in the zone at DN now for Bryant. And they're just going to hand it off to Cam Sanders, who explodes, gets the first down, and then some all the way up to the 50-yard line. Oh, my goodness. They are in business again. Let's go. One timeout left for both squads. Pretty decent yards so far for both teams on offense. Blueberry is in the zone again. Watch out on that left side. Hops pressured. He's going to be sacked again. Stefan Okafor getting in there. The 11th sack of his career. Second and 14. Two tight end set. Hops pressured. Throws it off his back foot. And deflected away intended for Jason Wright. And another third down and 14. Upcoming for VMI. for six on third down. Hop. Hop's looking to throw. He's going to actually take off and gets one yard as Bryant calls a timeout. 30 seconds left in the half. Kedet's going to punt it away again. Davidson, two punts. One inside the 20 so far in today's game. Another decent punt down to the 27-yard line. Fair caught by Tay Ray. 25 seconds to go. High formation from Montanez. Going to hand it off. Brandon Allen is going to be dropped after maybe two yards. He's got 25 yards on seven carries. Two touchdowns in the game. 29 touchdowns on the ground this season. His previous two seasons, he had 36 touchdowns on the ground in both seasons each. Kind of crazy. And they're going to snap it one more time. Allen going to break a tackle and drop for no gain on the play. That is the end of the first half here in the Orange Bowl. The Bryant Bulldogs, 11th team in the nation. They are up 21-7 over the 6th ranked VMI Kedets. Our next game. Game number 140, the final game of season three. Number two, Jacksonville taking on number one, North Dakota State in the national championship in the Sugar Bowl. Looking forward to that one. Coming up next, guys. Kedets luckily received the third quarter kickoff. Got to get something going. They were feeding their fullback heavily. And then they just kind of stopped. Another nice kickoff. And they'll start the drive to their own 20-yard line. Kedets, 144 yards. One turnover. Bryant with one turnover as well, over 200 yards. And they go with the option. Somehow getting the pitch out to Cy Summers. Blows that play up. Summers needed four tackles for a loss coming into this game to get 100 for his career. World Football Alliance in the chat. What happened? Got ourselves a game, my friend. There's a pitch out to Cam Sanders. Good run. Still going. All the way to the 43-yard line. First down, VMI. That's exactly what they needed. Should have been a face mask as well on Blueberry. Least favorite college mascots, all of them. No, I like a few. I don't really hate any of them. First and 10 from the 43. Two tight ends set. They're going to go counter. Ladarius Johnson in the open field. He's gone. Goodbye. VMI finally gets in the end zone again. No flags on the field. But Darius Johnson just so fast. Perfect play call.
That was Johnson's 15th touchdown run of the season and 30th of his career. So two seasons straight, he runs for 15 touchdowns in each. Ross Clark on for his 99th extra point of the season. And it's good. 21-14 is the score in the third quarter. Clark set to kick it deep. Looking for his 61st touchback of the season. And this will be returned by Brandon Allen. And he gets it up to about the 18-yard line. Allen does have two kick return touchdowns in his career. Yards getting pretty even now. 254 for VMI, 268 for Bryant. Henry Hamilton is in the zone at D tackle. And they're going to run it straight at him. Brandon Allen does not get far, maybe a yard. Second and eight. Shotgun set. Tay Ray is the halfback. And they're going to throw it. Montanez throws it deep again. This time deflected away. Another dangerous throw from Noel Montanez. It's third and eight coming up. This will be a huge stop for VMI. They can get a quick three and out right after their touchdown they just had. Play action, and there's a sack. Bryson Shields comes through on the cornerback blitz. What a perfect call. That is just his second career sack. Goodness gracious. Brasher's number one punter in the country. Out for the second time today. His last one was 52 yards. I expect another good one here. And that was good. Up to the 34. Bryson Shields breaking a tackle up to the 45-yard line. Let's see what Justin Hobson's this offense can do again. Can they tie it up? Keep that ground game churning. Single back set. Ladarius Johnson remains in the backfield. And they will go counter again. Johnson gets to the outside. Look out. KTO Miller does drop him. But that was about a six or seven yard carry for the sophomore halfback. I formation. Ryan Tobin is the tailback now on second and three. Go triple option. Hops does not pitch it out, but I believe he's got enough for the first. And they do move the chains to the 45 yard line. Single back set. Jake Barry is in the zone at tight end. They're going to go play action. He's got to get rid of it. And he does somehow get rid of it. That is almost picked off by the junior cornerback, Tadian Moss. 44 career deflections for him now. Pretty good numbers from Hops this season. As he comes out in the I formation yet again. Option. Pitches it out. Ryan Tobin, the freshman, has the first down and then some all the way inside the 30 down to the 25. He's got 53 yards today. And that gets him over 500 rushing yards as a true freshman. Right. 
Hops under center again, handing it off. Ladarius Johnson, nice spin move, breaks the tackle. Ladarius Johnson's gone again, touchdown VMI. We're going to have ourselves a tie ball game. Cy Summers gets run smooth over. Johnson with a career high, 16 touchdown runs this season. Extra point from Clark, his 100th of the season. It is up, and it is good. 100 for 100. Bulldogs set to get the ball back. And here's a return from Tay Ray up the middle, up to the 25. Montanez under center, counter play to Brandon Allen. He's going to break two tackles, picks up two yards. Shotgun set, Montanez to throw it deep again, way downfield, caught wide open. Brandon Allen is gone for the touchdown. Bryant takes the lead back as he high steps into the end zone, throws the ball into the stands. His second touchdown catch of the ball game. He's also got two rushing. He is taking over this game. 15 career touchdown receptions for him now. Rocket athlete in the chat. What up, Rocket? My goodness gracious, Brandon Allen. Whew. Going to be making plays at the next level next season. Extra point from Presley is up and good. 28-21. Bryant back on top. This has been such a back and forth game so far. Marvin Joseph in the chat. What up, Marvin? And wasn't even running. Nah, he was just taking his sweet old time getting in the end zone. Now let's see who's going to return this. That is going to go out of the end zone. 20 yard line will be the start for BMI. Single back set. Cam Sanders in the backfield. Eric Matheny, the freshman receiver, in motion. They're going to go counter. Cam Sanders breaks a tackle, but there's too many defenders in the backfield. That's Ryan Lee Norton on the stop. 46 tackles on the season for the true freshman. Second and 10, coming up. Same formation. And they're going to go speed option. Hops is going to get a couple yards met by the nickel cornerback. Third and nine coming up. Just two minutes to go in the third quarter. Same formation, just flipped for VMI. Pops looking to throw it over the middle, overthrows Eric Matheny, and VMI is going to punt it away.
Davidson on for his fourth punt of the game. Not the strongest leg, just a long of 43 today. But that was a pretty decent one to the 35 as Tay Ray gets dropped shortly after he catches the ball to 42. See if the Cadet defense can contain Brandon Allen on this drive. He has been electric today, to say the least. Single back set. Allen gets the handoff, carries a defender for a couple yards. Second and eight coming up from the 44. And they're going to come out with a single back set again. A.J. Jordan is the tight end on the left side of the line. They're going to hand it off. Brandon Allen breaks the tackle. He's still going. Brandon Allen gets six yards. Almost gets the first down. Such a beast. Third and one coming up. And they're going to hand it off again. This time Allen is met in the backfield by William Reed. He does not get the first down. Reed with his 80th career tackle. And that was a big one. And they are jawing on the field right now. Huge stop for VMI with 30 seconds left in the third quarter. And the Bulldogs will punt it away to the best returner of the year, Bryson Shields. 15 career uh, touchdown returns for him. Punt return and kick return combined. And he's going to fair catch this. And it's going to bounce into the end zone. Touchback. Lucky break for VMI. They'll get the ball at their own 20 to start this drive. High formation with Tobin, the freshman halfback in there. Ruben Blueberry is in the zone at defensive end. They're going to run it right at him. Here's Tobin trying to spin. Brought down by Cy Summers after maybe a yard. That is it for the third quarter here in Miami, Florida in the Orange Bowl. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Bryant on top, 28-21 over the Cadets. Five wide receivers set for hops. And he'll look to throw. He's going to take off instead. He's sacked by Joe Owens. It's too easy for Joe. His 47th sack of his career. He gets three for eight on third down today. And Hops looking to throw it. Hops, deep shot, way downfield. And it's intercepted by KTL Miller at the 36 yard line. Not exactly what Hops is looking for here. One-on-one -on -one coverage against a freshman strong safety. And O. Miller just steals it from his hands and gets his fifth INT of the year. ACC champs looking to be Orange Bowl champs today. They are going to go play action. Deep shot again down the middle. It's caught again. Oh, my goodness. They are just unstoppable in the passing attack. Darius Peters, the junior free safety, has injured himself on the play. And without him on the field, they are missing 175 tackles. Nine for a loss. Two sacks, 20 picks. Four defensive touchdowns. Seven forced fumbles. Two fumbles recovered and 41 pass deflections. Heck of a career from Peters. Single back set. Brandon Allen gets the carry, and he is dropped by Jack Hammer after about four yards. Bryant trying to close this game out, maybe get another touchdown, two-touchdown lead. That would be huge. 
Ron Kemp in the chat. What up, Ron? Shotgun set. A.J. Jordan is the halfback. They're going to throw it. Montanez is going to be way off the mark, intended for a Snoopy Tucker, who we have not really seen much of today. Tucker does lead the Bulldogs in catches, yards, and touchdown receptions this season. High formation set on third and five. This is going to be a huge stop for VMI if they can get him. And Montanez will try to throw it. He's going to throw over the middle. It's caught. Diego Martinez, the sophomore tight end, his first catch of the game, 19th on the season. Clutch, moving the chains. From the 22-yard line, they're going to come out in the I formation again. off Brandon Allen up the middle Brandon Allen escapes back jukes gets inside the 10 but there's a flag for clipping it's coming back on LJ Topher my goodness instead of having first and go from the 10 it's first and 22 from the 34 yard line single back Allen by himself gets the carry. Brandon Allen escapes. Brandon Allen caught up at the 16-yard line. Finally brought down. Having himself a great game. 204 yards. Two touchdowns on the ground. Two touchdown catches as well. And what is most likely his final game for the Bryant Bulldogs. Looking to be a top 10 draft pick. Montanez under center, going counter play. Brandon Allen, and Brandon Allen is still going all the way to the one-yard line, putting the team on his back. Oh, my goodness. Youngstown State beats Grambling State in their bowl game. Here's the handoff to Tay Ray. He is going to be dropped for the loss by Henry Hamilton. Brings up second to go from the four for the Bulldogs. Goal line set. It's a seven play, 53 yard drive, two and a half minutes off the clock. They're going to hand it off again. Allen dropped after one yard. That was Henry Hamilton on the tackle. And it'll be third and goal from the three. Yo, what up, Ray? How you doing, buddy? The line set again. About two and a half minutes left in the Orange Bowl. Expect another Brandon Allen handoff, and it is Brandon Allen breaks the tackle, and he is stuffed short again with Diego Martinez injuring his hand on the play. I expect the field goal unit to come on the field to get a two-score lead for Bryant. But a nice stand from VMI holding him just outside the one-yard line. Presley on for the kick to give his team a 10-point lead with less than two to go. Kick is up, and that is right down the middle. It's 31-21. What a drive. 10 plays, 56 yards. Three and a half minutes gone. Kedets with all three timeouts left. Two minutes to go. Does Justin Hopps have any magic left in him? Or will the Cadets lose two straight to end the year after winning 23 straight games?
this will not be returned by Jason Wright. Martinez sprained his wrist. He'll return in the ball game. I formation set for VMI. Ops to throw. Deep shot, right side. And it is dropped by Jake Barry. Oh my goodness. Hops 2 of 11, 10 yards, 2 interceptions today. He has been shut down. Try to throw it again. Hops, quick pass. This time it's Jay Balmer. He's going to pick up four yards, making it third and six as the clock continues to tick. Down to 140 left in the game. Hops to throw. Pressure. Deep shot left side. Almost picked off. Intended for Balmer. It's fourth and six coming up. They are on their heels. Not sure why they're booing here. They got to go for it. In the shotgun. To throw it. Pressured. Quick pass. Caught. First down. Kedats. That was Eric Matheny's first catch of the game. He is actually the team leader in receptions with 23 now on the year. And he is celebrating with his team down 10 points after a first down. Come on, freshman, get off the field. Brandon Allen, obviously player of the game for Bryant. Ladarius Johnson, great game from him for VMI as well. Ruben Blueberry in the zone at defensive end. He is the Lombardi Award winner. Here's Hops, and that is somehow caught. Oh, my goodness. Second and ten coming up. they got to hurry up. They need a touchdown now. And they're going to go play action. Hops, deep shot, way downfield, going for it. Oh, it's caught, and Jason Wright is gone. Touchdown VMI, a 67-yard strike. Wide open. Oh, Miller just got hosed. That was Wright's ninth touchdown of the season. And there's still time. Three timeouts left for VMI. They're obviously, they're going to go for the onside kick. Crazy things have happened. And it's a field goal ball game. 31-28, 104 remaining. Kedets, onside kick coming up. From Ross Clark. One of the best kickers in the nation. Can they do it? Clark kicks it. And he kicks it right to him. Oh my goodness. It's alright. They still have three timeouts. They got to get a three and out from this defense. One of the worst onside kicks I've ever seen in my life. I would have got that 10 out of 10 times. What's up? Goal line set for Bryant. All we need is a big run from Brandon Allen to end this ball game. And they might get it here. No, it's a face mask. They're going to get a face mask on him. Makes it first and two from the 40. Oh, boy. Definitely not what they needed. That might have just sealed the game. That might have just sealed it, folks. Henry Hamilton is in the zone at defensive tackle. With Monson as in the shotgun right now. Kind of surprising. They're going to hand it off to Tay Ray. 
And here goes the young freshman down the sideline, inside the 20-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Just one timeout left for VMI. And I'm pretty sure they're just going to run this clock out now. The young freshman halfback sealing the deal. Allen is in the zone. That halfback, they're going to give it to him. Brandon Allen cannot break a tackle, stuffed for no gain. And yeah, there's just not enough time left on this clock. Unless they could somehow push him out of bounds. No, they're just going to kneel it down now, second and ten. Hammer Jammer in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Montanez kneels it down out of the victory formation. They'll have to snap it one more time. VMI was the favorite all year and folded the last two games. They sure did. Third and 12. They have the regular offense on the field now. From the 22. Fullback in motion. They're going to hand it off. Brandon Allen is going to get a big chunk of yards up to the 16. And that is going to do it, folks. That's going to seal the deal. The Bryant Bulldogs are your Orange Bowl champions in Season 3 of our FCS Dynasty. Sending on the field goal unit, I don't expect them to kick this. So VMI loses the final two games of the season. And oh my goodness, to pour some salt in the wound, Presley kicks it up and through. That's the final, 34-28. Bryant wins it over the sixth-ranked VMI Keep Debts. What a performance from Brandon Allen in 99% most likely, uh, you know, his final collegiate game. Head coach Scott Goldberg going to get doused with the Gatorade. Noel Montanez, he's probably gone after this game as well. The quarterback, Reuben Blueberry. Divine Adams, Joe Owens is gone. He's a senior. Tadian Moss, the corner, he might be gone. Oh my goodness. What a game. That was outstanding. Let's take a look at the stats. Over 400 yards for Bryant, 357 for VMI. They just could not get the passing attack going. Just 90 yards through the air for Justin Hops. He was on his back four times today, getting sacked. A couple turnovers, two interceptions for Hops, which he came into the game with just nine on the season. Congratulations to the Bryant Bulldogs, all the players that are in the Discord on the Orange Bowl victory. BMI tried to tried to come back in the second half. They made a good effort. Just not enough plays when they needed them. Not enough stops on defense. The defense let them down just a little bit here today. Just a bit. But it was a great game. Let's take a look at VMI stats. Hops, 6 of 16, 90 yards, touchdown, and two interceptions. Sacked four times. Johnson, player of the game for VMI. Two touchdowns on five carries from 91 yards. Keller had a touchdown as well from the fullback spot. Cam Sanders, 71 yards. Ryan Tobin with 54 Justin Hobbs was shut down in the passing attack and on the ground. When have you ever seen that? Never. The answer is never. Receiving. Let's see. Not a whole lot of action here. Jason Wright with a 67-yard touchdown. A couple drops for the receiving core. Jake Barry with three pancakes today. And that will give Barry 98 career pancakes. Three sacks allowed somehow. I don't know. Bryson Shields, the best returner in the country, led the team in tackles uh, with seven of those things. One for loss, one sack. He had a really good day. Jack Hammer, four tackles. Stewart had three, two for loss. Peters with three tackles. Henry Hamilton with two. William Reed with two. Mike Adams had one. Trey Upton with one. Seven tackles for a loss for the defense. Just the one sack. One interception for Ted Riley. And five deflections, no force fumbles. Ross Clark, perfect on the season for field goals and extra points. 
He also had 60 touchbacks on the season. Just outrageous numbers. All they were missing today was a nice nice long return from Shields. He didn't really get many opportunities, though. Montanez, 9-14, 268 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. He's most likely going to be on an EFL roster come next season. Brandon Allen, 88 yards, two touchdowns, nine broken tackles. He also had 120 yards receiving, two touchdowns on three catches. Just over 200 yards. Just outstanding performance from him. 101 career touchdown um, rushes for him and 15 career touchdown catches. What a beast. No drops at all for the receiving core. Kenneth Harrington, nine pancakes. He's most likely going to go pro as well. And that gives him 102 pancakes on the season. Five sacks allowed. 149 career pancakes. 13 sacks allowed in three seasons. KTO Miller, five tackles. Cy Summers with five tackles. Summers, he's got to be going pro. That'll be 260 career tackles for him. 97 for a loss. Okafor had three tackles today. Joe Owens with two sacks. Gives Owens uh, 47 career sacks for the senior. He'll be going pro. Probably, the, uh, probably a top 10 pick as well. Defensive end is just such a monster. Bryant going to have a lot of first-round draft picks, that is for sure. A couple interceptions for the defense. KTO Miller is fifth on the year. Six deflections for the defense. Force fumble for Devine Adams. And that was his fourth career force fumble. Presley, two of two field goals for four extra points. Brashers, six kickoffs, five touchbacks. Really good day punting the football as well. Kick return, nothing crazy, no crazy things on punt return either. And that, my friends, is it for the Orange Bowl from Miami, Florida. Players of the game, Johnson, Wright, Keller for VMI, Brandon Allen, Noel Montanez, and Presley, players of the game for the Bryant Bulldogs. Take a look at the trophy for Scott Goldberg, the head coach, and all the Bryant Bulldogs. There it is, the Bowl of Oranges. Congratulations to the Bryant Bulldogs. What a great season they had here in Season 3. That's going to be it for this stream, guys. I'm going to get my stats ready for the national championship game coming up next. There it is. Number one, North Dakota State taking on number two, Jacksonville in the Sugar Bowl for all the marbles. I'll see you guys with that one in about 25, 30 minutes, maybe. I just got to get my stats ready. It'll probably be a little bit sooner than that, but just got to get my stats all written down, get ready to go. And we will play the 140th game of Season 3, the National Championship game. Go ahead, slap that like button on your way out of the stream, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Join our Discord community to get yourself on the field for one of our 12 schools in Season 4. I'll be adding new recruits next week. Take it easy, guys.